<laughs> yeah, it is definitely time. Texas Micro Farms is kicking into business. I wanted to show you guys a few things. Here's something super cool that we're doing. If you see this, this is an early sun glow hybrid. I have, this is a, uh, this is a 60 day or a short, uh, it's a 63 day harvest. Um, so that's a very early corn. We have a 75 day corn and a 90 day corn also. So we'll plant these. We're going to start them two, two weeks apart. And then we're going to be able to put them in the ground almost right on top of each other because they are, they will not cross pollinate. These ones will come out and be ready in a month, you know, in two months from now. Then the next one will be ready in about 90 days. And then the next one will be ready about 120 days after that. So that's going to be super, super fun. We're planting these in right now, which is snow pea. And what I'm going to do is we're going to put those up along this wall. And since those are going to be, oh, uh, pretty fast growing. We're going to run these along the wall and then we're just going to drop some strings down from the top so that it has something to cling to or or we might just set up some bamboo runners that they can run up once they start growing out. So we've got our lettuces which are going in back here. I got to get out here and um and weed a little bit because we definitely have some weeds coming up so we'll do that tempted i think i will because we still we've got arugula this arugula has just wow it has just been a trooper look and those um these arugula leaves huh look at how pretty it is and it's absolutely you can eat the leaves Look, I'm going to pick off a flower. Mm. Oh, and they're so delicious. I love arugula. I love it. Bug leaves are coming out. But I'm thinking this back corner right here, that we're going to bring some red amaranth out and plant amaranth back there. We've got some of, look at this. These are our little baby carrots that we planted before. This onion, I just threw that onion back there and look, it's just, <laughs> he's crazy. He's doing his thing. So this bed, we're gonna start getting that bed ready. Definitely. And then if we walk along here, you can see this is the bed that we have been weeding. So it's been a little bit of a problem. These are wildflowers back here. We've got some onion in here and what we're going to do, look at this. You see these guys? You wouldn't know it. I love snails. I would eat snails, but this guy is actually a beneficial snail. It's one of the beneficial snails that they have in Texas and it's a carnivore. He goes around and he eats other little um, little bugs and stuff. So probably eats, I would imagine, earwigs and stuff like that. Almost time to get into this garden bed because we've got to put some stuff into that garden bed. But over here, I saw him. We have somewhere, uh-oh, I might have stepped on him. Nope. Somewhere in here is the Blackberry David who has made its way out into the world where he's not supposed to be. Oh, there, there's the corner of him. See him? That is Blackberry David taking over when he shouldn't be. There's an errant seed down there too. I can tell a brassica. That's some kind of brassica down there. Not sure what it is, but it is definitely a brassica. And I can tell by, oops, I can tell by the, uh, by the leaves. Just like I could tell that this, even though it has three leaves, 
This is not a poison ivy, which also has a three leaf, mostly because I know it's Blackberry David. But other than that, I also know, look at that. Those are buds. Okay, so we're gonna have flower buds on this one. And I like the way he's growing in the trees. I have been training him to grow up the tree so that he has a lot of light. And then I can actually get in there and pick the berries because those that blackberry is kind of a mean guy. He's a meanie. All right, we're gonna do something with this. We've got to pull out these. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we will use these sticks to run the peas up. I've got a bunch of other ones, so we can put those in to get the peas running up it. Eh, probably got, this probably got killed. That's all right. I have more seeds. We're gonna plant some more seeds. We're gonna do globes though. This was not a globe artichoke and it didn't, it was not, it was like a small purple artichoke and I was not happy with it. So, that's all right, we're gonna put some globe ones in. We gotta come through here, cut some of this dead branches out, cause this is the mint, and I do want the mint to grow. I like mint, mint is yummy. And then um, we have some thyme left in here. Uh, we got the parsley died. The Italian parsley did not make it. That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna get something else in here. We'll do some more parsley. Um, here is our marjoram. I think it is. Nope, that's the garden sage. We had pineapple sage in here. Back in the back though is really super cool. What this is is my comfrey. So up, oh, darn it. So I finally got the comfrey working and then in here is our basil and we can see there's a little basil coming up there's basils in here and that was really super cool all right so we got to get back we're gonna put uh we're gonna put some spinach into that bed because it needs shade and I think that it'll get partial shade from the plants being out here while these ones we while they go to seed. Look at those, aren't they pretty? They're just beautiful. Those are my collards. They're going to seed and I cannot wait. I'm gonna just knock those seeds into this bed because it's where it's gonna reside from now on. Look at my yummy, yummy, yummy kale. Look at how that kale is powerful. I just love it. And look here. The lavender is starting to grow finally, which makes me happy. I'm pretty sure the cacao is dead, but the lavender is growing. And the silver beet chard, Swiss chard is going. Ah, I don't know what's happening with the banana, but uh, it's still here. I'm gonna get my uh, onions and cut some green onions in there because that's a staple in my house. We gotta have green onions. Boy, we've got a lot of seeds to deal with, but that's okay, because look, we have all of these seeds out here, right? Huh, that's nothing. You ain't seen nothing yet, baby. I'm telling you guys what, man, I'm the seed queen. I really am. So I have all of my uh, my buckets here. Turn some lights on here. Okay, so these are the buckets for the uh, for the um, microgreens. So all of these are filled. This is the sunflower. This is the radish. Everybody loves those radishes. And those are the peas. And then here's the things that we use to sanitize them before we grow them. But look at this. This is pretty much all seeds. These are flowers, right? I have them all, all um, marked. Got thing there that I can do more stuff. Look at, these are all 
I think I'll plant some more basils. These are for sprouting, which is fine. These are, this should not be in here. These are seeds for planting out. So uh, let's do, here's this, this one here, that was Calypso, that is cilantro. We'll put some of that out. Uh, Red Russian, looking. Here's the Salanova. So those are the ones that we're gonna do and we're gonna do those probably inside. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Here is my bunch of onions. Those are white. And then I have some more white spear. I have guardsmen. I think what do I wanna do? Hmm. Uh, guardsmen's pretty good. That's actually labeled as a, as a scallion. So let's do that one. And then we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we want. Here's the spinach. Ooh, that's a red spinach. Ooh, there's the hybrid, the uh, the little turnips too, the little white ones. Ooh, this is gonna be so much fun. And look at this, this is the salad mix. So that was the salad mix that we used in that big bed and it has a uh, loose leaf red and all kinds of stuff it's gonna be great uh, that's a red beet baby baby beet Ooh, yummy. okay I think we've got it for now we're gonna do the spinaches and the onions out there and uh, that's good but that ain't <laughs> that isn't even all of it look at it down here okay there's more it just keeps on going, keeps on going. Here's more in these boxes. That ain't it, too. Crazy town over here. We've got our growing shelves, right? So we're getting ready now to get our growing shelves set up so that we can use the growing shelves. And then I had more. Um, there's some more seeds over there. Some of my ta uh, some stuff that I've been messing around with. I experiment a lot, but oh, look at this! Woohoo! So here's our arugula that we love so much. Our broccolis, our alfalfas, more broccoli. Just seeds after seeds after seeds after seeds. And then you know what? Ah, you think it's done, right? It's not done. Inside of the refrigerator is our survival seeds. And then in back of that one is another one of our survival seeds. So you see people, peopley, peopley, people, I have been setting up to survive this for ages. I don't think there's any more up there. Not just stuff for the cheese, which is fine. But we have been working on this for quite some time. This is not uh, just a day, you know, it's like, oh, I went to Home Depot. Hold on, I'm going to flip this back around. This isn't like I just went to Home Depot and uh, started, you know, picking up plants. This has been a lifelong adventure for me. I mean, it's been, it's gone on so long. It took me years to pass my permaculture course and, uh, I could do more <laughs> with this. I could crossbreed a whole bunch of stuff, which would be totally fun. But all of those seeds that you just saw, every single one of them, oops, touched my ear. <laughs> every single one of those seeds are a heritage or a heirloom variety. So, they can't, they're, they're open pollinated is what it's called. None of them, very few. There's a few of them that are not, that are actually hybrids. I don't keep many hybrid seeds around because I want to use those seeds for, um, oh, get out of here. It's YouTube popping up messages on me. I want to use those seeds again. Okay, that's the whole idea of having an open variety. Okay, so for instance, let's take for example, we just looked at those beautiful collards, right? I was trying to use those collards to make a um, to make a microgreen with it, 
but I was not having any success. So I just threw them out in my garden bed and they're growing. So I know that those were a uh, type of collard that they're Georgia, it's called a Georgia collard, and they will continue to grow. So I'm just going to let them keep growing and then when they go to seed, I won't collect the seeds. I, I could, it's not a big deal. I've got so many seeds, it's not like I need any more seeds because I don't. I will just put those in, um, I'll just crunch them up and put them in the ground. I don't know, I might have to send some overseas. I might take some overseas with me. It depends on what's happening because I might be going to Germany and Denmark pretty soon. We're waiting for, Germany is allowing people in. Denmark still is not allowing the United States in. But as soon as I find out that I can get over to Germany, I'll probably pop over the bond and check that out because I am being asked to do that and I want to. So we'll go do that. And then uh, they can't do the collards over there in Denmark is what I'm being told. They don't have collards. And so we have a Southern boy, he's a Southern American and he is hating the fact that he doesn't have any uh, collard greens and I'm pretty sure I can grow some collard greens there. I know I can. <laughs> I know that I can and I know that I can get a garden bed full of seeds that will do well there, I'm pretty sure. Then uh, also, because you know, I've got the green thumb, I've got the touch, I've got the, the green thumb touch. So then, not only that, but okra okra they can't find any okra over there so we're going to take some okra seeds also take okra and take a uh, collard and i think that's the only ones that are an issue right now so and they should grow because they grow mustard there and mustard is a brassica too so it shouldn't be a big deal um, they are a little bit more warm loving, but if you treat them right and you treat the soils correctly, it should, they should grow, even though they won't grow like ours did, but ours did fabulous through Snowmageddon, right? The artichokes did, but we're going to go and replant that right now anyways. So anyways, this is Heather Hill with Texas Microfarms. We're done, um, working on gun bills for the day. But we definitely will be picking up our law books later on and doing a quick law lesson because I want everyone to know and especially everyone that is amongst my people, my peoply people, that there is a difference. Okay, I hear it being said all the time and it drives me crazy. Words matter. Words are important, especially in under certain circumstances. Okay. You do not own a weapon, okay? A weapon is used as an offensive tool to attack someone. No one that I know owns a weapon. Y'all do own firearms, okay? And when we write gun laws, that's exactly what we say. We talk about it as a firearm, as a gun, okay? But firearm is the proper technology Firearms come in different types. You have long guns, which are your rifles, your uh, automatic weapons. No, not automatic weapons. They're not automatic weapons at all, okay? They're auto firing guns. Um, and then you have sidearms, right? What do we do? We open carry what? Do we open carry? No, we open carry our sidearm. Okay, Glock, 1911, Sig Sauer, all these. Oops. Ah. <laughs> Lost the pig on the back again. Dang pig is always dropping off like that. Anyways, I'm done. I'm done. I'm getting off of the. Uh, I'm getting off the subject this morning, which is actually talking about the garden. But I love you guys. Don't forget, okay? And get out there in the sunshine and enjoy it and grow your own food because if you grow your own food, you're gonna be really smart like grandma, right? <laughs> love you guys. Bye bye.
All right, well, we switched it up a little bit. We uh, went ahead and got the amaranth out. And then we put the amaranth in that back corner like I was talking about. But I decided along this wall, what I wanted to do was a little bit different and it's gonna be a little more fun. This now, oh look, there goes one of my lizards. He's running across, ha <laughs> ha, he's enjoying the sun today, obviously. But what we're gonna do, we already did, is I put down the snow pea and then I put down some asparagus beans, which should be really good. And then I also mixed in some nasturtum. So all of these are actually climbing and what it's gonna do is it's gonna climb up this side of the wall. We're gonna use these sticks. Ugh. And we're going to tie these sticks up here at each interval once those come up like that, right? And we'll wind everything up those sticks and then they can climb across here. What that will do is when it gets hot, uh-oh, oh, you always got my finger in the way. When it gets hot, it's going to shade this wall and that is a permaculture technique how to save on your power bill because if you have uh, some cool plants growing on the side it's going to protect the sun off that wall and it's going to make it easier for the air conditioning when it gets hot this summer so oh, we're still out here planting away and oh I made the mistake of eating a piece of ugh. One of those stupid oriental ramens and it just made me feel sick. They're just, ugh. I don't know how people could eat that crap. I don't know why I ate it, but I could tell that I ate it because it was absolutely disgusting. And then we did also put the onions over in that corner and we planted some onions in here. And then we are going to come out here and pull out this, these weeds and we're going to put the spinach on this side so it gets a little bit of shade because it spinach will need shade definitely so that's the next project to work on Ooh, but i gotta go inside at some point because i definitely have to write up some more lawsuits and things like that which i will be doing anyways this is heather with texas microfarms checking out